Hello again. My next guest has written to the Scottish Government after strict quarantine rules kept her from spending time with her extremely ill father at the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital in Glasgow. Claire Herriot arrived in Edinburgh from Istanbul on Tuesday night and was granted a one-off compassionate visit to see her dad. She was escorted from a hotel room by two guards who then returned her to her room after the very short visit. She joins us now from her quarantine in Edinburgh. Hello to you. Thanks for joining us um, this morning. But tell us what's happened. Yes, well, I saw my dad um, the other day for a, a quarantine visit. I've been uh, granted two more, but to get to this point, it's been uh, incredibly difficult and unnecessarily stressful. Um, protracted exchanges of email to get this far. And I, I think if this was an option if I if I could have these visits. Why why make it so difficult in the first place? But now, what my issue is, what I'm trying to convey, what I wrote in my email, is that I now have a concern about my own health and well-being in this facility, and I'm not getting anywhere when I try and say that. I, I'm trying to explain that in the in the document in my hotel, it says that you can request an assessment by a medical professional in the on the premises I've tried that person's not here and it's just very frustrating to to get that to get that attention what are you being told by the authorities why are you being kept there well the the you know they say that um these are the quarantine measures that are that are in place and it's you know for the protection of of everyone but what what I'm what I'm trying to say is that it's quite it's quite difficult to understand. It's quite difficult to accept when the country is opening back up, when thousands of football fans travel from Scotland to London, when there's nightclubs open in London, and it seems to me that the the, the, the prime minister's policy is just let it rip. But I'm being locked away like a biohazard when it doesn't need to be this way. I'm saying that I have a, a mental health concern. I have raised that. I spoke to my doctor on the recommendation of an email I received from the Scottish Managed Isolation Team. I then forwarded them the doctor's letter yesterday at 3pm and they haven't replied. And that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. What I'm saying is I, I called 111. They, they were very kind and compassionate and they advised that I call the COVID helpline. I called the COVID helpline and they told me to call 111. How, how does a person get get any kind of assessment about their own mental health, their own well-being in one of these facilities. That's what I'm really, really struggling with. How's your dad? Yeah, he um, is comfortable and the hospital in Glasgow are just doing a wonderful job for them. My my mum told the consultant that he is the best of the NHS. My dad was very confused about why I had to leave the other day. And that was heartbreaking. And when I when I got back from that visit, I was very distressed. And that is when I tried to get the assessment by the medical professional that it says in this document in my room. That's when I called 111. That's when I tried to, to reach out and say, what are you doing for the people, not just me, the people in these facilities that need to access some kind of support. And that's been very difficult. And I am really, really struggling with that. And my big fear now is that I'll be stuck in this hotel when I'm unable to leave if my if my father dies before the 7th of August when this quarantine is up. And so I am grateful for the visits. I don't understand why I had to go through what I had to go through to get them, if that mechanism existed in the first place. But what I'm asking now, what I'm saying is that I, I, I believe that the threshold that's been explained in this document to me about being able to be assessed your own mental health to leave this facility I'm not getting I'm I so far that's not being listened to it's very frustrating to, to make these points to be told to speak to your GP to then talk to your GP she writes a letter which I then forward and I don't get a reply from the email that I sent at three o'clock yesterday and that's what I don't understand is this how people are being treated in 21st century Scotland when they try and get help for their for their own mental health in one of these quarantine facilities. I, I I know I'm not the only person, and this is this is what I don't understand. I don't understand where the where the compassion has gone. What do you want to say to Nicola Sturgeon? 
Well, to you know, to the first minister, to the the, the the Scottish government in general, I understand that governments have to balance the welfare of millions of people against the needs of individuals and families. But I think we're at the point now where the emergency measures stage has has passed, and cases should be judged on their individual merits. Why are people having to go through these protracted exchanges of email to get the thing that they could, should have had in the first place? I think that there's a lot of additional unnecessary suffering. There's already, people are suffering to begin with because of the pandemic situation. And there's not, there's not enough uh, help and enough consideration to minimize the suffering that there's already going to be. It's obviously hard for anyone who is facing the prospect of losing a, a very close relative. What I'm saying is why does it have to be made so much harder? I don't think there's enough uh, for, in my experience, enough help for people in these facilities who are trying to reach out for mental health concerns. If, if somebody in one of these hotels falls and breaks their arm, they're going to get attention. I'm now saying, I'm the canary in the coal mine, that if this, if this situation gets worse, I am going to struggle to cope with that. I'm telling you that now, and I don't even get a response to the email. I, that that is what I just I think is is so lacking, and it's unnecessary. It doesn't have to be this way. Claire, um, all your colleagues, former colleagues here at Sky News, are rooting for you. Um, look after yourself, Thank my you. love. Um, stay strong, and um, I'm sure that you'll be able to see your father before too long. Hopefully, the Scottish government listening this morning, and will be able to help you. Be brave, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. We asked for a comment from the Scottish Government last night. None has been forthcoming.